Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Had a friend, I think it was Brother Garza from out in California, Dennis Garza. Great website, by the way. I've recommended it a few times here on the channel. He's got, what is it, uh, ecclesiasticalresearches.com, I think. And this is The Right to Heresy. The Right to Heresy. And it's by Stephen Zaig. And he was a German historian, if I'm not mistaken. So not all of his works, to my knowledge, have been translated in English. But this is an excellent one. And it's Castillo against Calvin. Now, the first time, to my remembrance, I was acquainted with Sebastian Castillo was in the works of the wonderful historian Thomas Weiser. If you don't have Thomas Weiser's books, I'd go ahead and just get everything he's got. Probably cost you less than $100. They're all amazing. And it doesn't matter what uh, persuasion you're coming from, they are historically accurate and phenomenal. And so what Castillo, he was quite, I've been studying quite a bit on him personally, and he was quite uh, the scholar, maybe Calvin's superior intellectually, and he was uh, very vehement in the right to conscience. So when Calvin, and let's just go ahead and say it, we can nuance and parse the fact that Calvin may not have lit the uh, flames that burnt Servetus at the stake, Miguel de Servet, Michael Villanueva, you know, the famous, uh, I mean, just polymath, incredible. He even did his own Bible translation. Uh, discovered the uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation system of the heart, wrote on geography, all kind of stuff. He might not have lit the fire that burning, but he burnt Michael Servetus and others at the stake. And so Castillo came out strongly against him. The thing you he was dealing with at the time, not only was Calvin such a powerful, the Pope of Geneva, as they would call him, powerful figure, but Castillo was going through a several year period of financial hardship, especially after being kind of kicked out of churches. And But one fascinating thing is when you study Castillo, many of his concepts last to this day on freedom of conscience and freedom of religion. And so he's considered a pillar in these virtues that we're supposed to have. Okay, so Zay goes into Calvin's seizure of power, the discipline inter Castillo, the Servetus affair, many people say Servetus, Servet, many things, the murder of Servetus, manifesto on behalf of toleration, which is great, conscience against violence, violence disposes of conscience, extremes meet, biographical notes, items of 16th century chronology. And so it's got a few illustrations. Uh, Johan Calvin at the age of 53 from an engraving of René Boivin, 1562. Uh, Miguel Servetus, copy from an engraving by Fritsch. Uh, Jean Calvin from the portrait of Tranchin. Geneva 16th century view from an early woodcut a view of Geneva from 16th century atlas copper engraving facsimile letter by Castillo contemporary sketches of Calvin as an old man by Bourgon so uh, let's see how many pages this is and as we're looking at that I will say this book was originally translated in English anyhow in 1936 you can get some first editions relatively reasonably on eBay last I checked maybe not anymore it's very expensive on Amazon but much less expensive on eBay and there may be some uh, Amazon reprint type things it has an extremely good in the appendix like Knox visits Calvin at Geneva and Bullinger at Zurich, 1554, Ochino in Basel and Zurich, which 1554, 1563, which I think Bernadette and Ochino 
may have actually been like a servation, as was in all probability Casador de Reña, who translated Spanish Bible, the famous Bear Bible in 1569, and the majority Spanish Bible this day still bears his name. So um, I was just reading, I mean, just neat stuff. Like the right to heresy, conscience against violence. Um, Castillo incontrovertibly refutes Calvin's attempt to justify what he had done by appeal to a higher divine command, for Castillo holds it impossible that there can be a divine or Christian command to murder. I mean, that's just succinct. And it's the Beatitudes. It's just fantastic. And so that's really true. And I'm shocked at the number of people online when I deal with Calvin, they either say, Calvin didn't murder Servetus. Yes, he did. <laughs> Any honest look will say, yes, he did. And second, that's like saying Catholics never did the Inquisition. You know, you're just parsing words. We all know what happened. And so <laughs> the uh, uh, you either get that, he didn't have him killed, or he was right to kill. And, and so then I'm thinking, so if I believe like Servetus, you can kill me? That's what's left hanging in the air there. And so it's horrible. And this is the reason four oneness people were killed on Boston Commons. You know, Marmaduke Stevenson, William Ledra, William Robinson, and the famous Mary Dyer hung like a flag, who uh, John Greenleaf Whittier did the famous poem of her in the 1860s, because he came from a oneness background as well, in a certain sense. Um, just Castillo, humanist, Erasmian type. People say, well, Erasmus was a Catholic. Well, why did his books get put on the uh, Forbidden Books Index? Of course, he was nominally a Catholic, no doubt about that. But he did a lot that uh, uh, militated against that. Let me just read this, too. Violence disposes of conscience. Boy, that's true. Castillo, who was acquainted with the earlier stages of his friend Achino's long, drawn-out martyrdom, knew that he himself might expect a similar fate. And then death did rescue him. But he was a Bible translator, brilliant guy. I would say in the studies I've done, he was probably Calvin's superior, Jean Chauvin who was accused of civilianism as a young man, believe it or not. So, God bless the right to heresy by Stephen Zaig Castillo against Calvin. Probably everybody in theology of whatever persuasion, maybe not even theology, needs this in your library. So, thanks for being here. Check out our other videos. Subscribe. Leave us, I almost said a five-star review. That's our Biblical Archaeology Day podcast. Leave a thumbs up all the other bells and whistles, share on social media. See you later. Live for God. Bye-bye.